Hello guys, today I may be potentially showing you the coolest thing I've ever shown on my YouTube channel which is a virtual reality TARDIS simulator for, well phones really, and virtual reality. Um, this I actually made myself and I'll be showing you about it today. Now I apologise for if you hear any indifference, it's probably caused by the phone. But let me explain how this works. In a very few, in a very few seconds you're about to see uh, two, two displays on your computer screen. Um, these are split up using the Android SDK, which I'm, I've implemented into Unity, and therefore added the models for uh, the TARDIS, Capaldi TARDIS, and textured some of it as well. Um, these split the actual lens, and that forms, wait for it, an image when you look through it at your eyes. So uh, we're about to play it, and uh, it looks just like the real thing, really. Well, let's describe it when we actually see it, so you just play it right now. As you can see, the actual image changes, and you see the TARDIS. So, uh, so I apologise for uh, phone uh, for cam um, computer users. You're not actually going to get to see the benefit, but I'm going to describe it as much as possible. So, um, okay, wow. Um, now you're probably wondering why am I using not why am I using a phone instead of a Oculus Rift? Well, I can't afford an Oculus Rift, but this works exactly the same way. Um, those two images are slightly separated apart so that when they look through the lenses on the Google Cardboard that it actually um, creates a proper image which uh, I'm seeing right now. So let me describe it in one or very few words. Everything has depth. Like, um, absolutely everything. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, I apologize for the textures. They're not great. But, uh, wow. Sorry, I'm going to describe it a bit more. So, uh, it's like just really seeing it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not great at describing this. I probably should have thought about how I'm going to describe it. Basically, you look down on everything and everything goes bl like below. below sorry. Um, the animation is quite slow, I apologise. But everything just... It just looks like it's there. Like It's not augmented reality, it's virtual reality it's just an image but <laughs> it just looks so real well apart from the pixelation caused um well it, you, it's something you get used to like really really easily i could pull out my phone here which i'm running on an emulator so um through the unity product so as you can see just here it's just um let me focus a minute you just see what i'm what you're seeing on the computer screen only uh it's split up and uh these two lenses which come part of the Google Cardboard, which you should, you should get, it's really cheap and works really well, um, just converts it into an image. I, I'm in focus still. Yep. Uh, okay, there's a few glitches in the animation I didn't... Okay, this is a, one of the greatest scenes, I think, to look through because this really does look like depth. The telepathic circuits, they do look remarkable. Everything just looks... Like, it's, I don't know, it's just incredible. Like, I, ever since I played the Gary's Mod version, I wanted virtual reality. Now, Gary's Mod will be great for that when virtual reality is properly out and cheap and stuff, but... Oh, wow. Now, I've only set this to an animation. Obviously, um, using the SDK, it's possible just to look, look around in 3D using the gyroscope. So make sure you, when you do buy this, you get a good phone with a gyroscope. Um, okay, wow. It just sees it. You just see it in just a brand new perspective, and it's rather remarkable. Because you look, you look everywhere. Like, if you close one, if you close one eye, like just demonstration there. Close one eye, it just converts it into like looking at a magnified image of a screen. But when you open it out, suddenly, suddenly there's depth, and it's that depth that makes this illusion really, really cool. Especially when you look at everything from an angle. Like, you can sort of look around. Like, ultimately, this isn't using the gyroscope, so it's a bit restricted but put put um it's a bit of light coming in put a uh completely back it out maybe make the lens a bit bigger and okay wow um it just looks like a real tardis as if you're there apart from okay i'm just clipping through something i didn't texture properly it just looks it's like it would look if you were there it, but obviously that's what virtual reality is but my positioning on this, the wire isn't very great. 
Um, I'll also upload the um, split screen that onto YouTube so you can test it out yourself as well. Um, the download won't be available. Uh, let me just credit someone. Brian Rocks, I think his name is, he created all these models uh, and textures. So it's not completely done, so I won't download it. But I won't, won't uh, give a download, but <sighs> wow. It is really cool. Especially when you go up really close to the uh, console panels, everything just... Let me just go back to that bit. Everything, all the console panels, just all the buttons and everything, just look just amazing. Especially the doors and those little uh, tube things, like with the uh, thing. That just looks really deep and stuff. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what... I'm a, I mean, it would look a lot better with the high resolution textures, but this is a phone, remember? I mean, the screen is pretty much the same. Also, it's a bit difficult to spit it right at the right angle, so you get the best view. It's not... I think I probably could have extended the resolution of this. You have to get it to the right area. There we go. Just, like, looking down on that. <sighs> when I get a controller and stuff, if I can get my hand on one, you'll be able to just throw switches and stuff. It's incredible. I'm actually in love with this. Like, especially that little red thing there, that lever you just saw go past. It looks 3D, especially all those taps and valves and the gear thing isn't great, but... Oh, I'm just having the time of my life here, and... Uh, oh my god, the like, lights are flickering. They are just... Yeah. Put it this way, it's like you're actually walking around a console. It Literally, that's all it is, and it's a great effect I'm having lots of fun with right now. I'll probably make an upload where I do uh, different TARDISes perhaps and maybe get the actual 3D so I'm looking around, although I am pretty much looking around anyway. Okay, putting it like that is a bit weird. But here we are, Google Cardboard. It's it's about five pounds, <laughs> but you can uh, have some great fun with it looking through the lenses and that. Uh, it's, it's rather good. So uh, you should definitely get your hands on one. Oh, here comes a good bit. Oh, that switch just in 3D. Oh, wow. That's just incredible. I'm, uh, I'm happy right now. VR's finally here. At least uh, in the phone version. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed watching. I imagine you didn't because you didn't get to see it. But you could make this... Hold on, let me get it out. You could literally make this yourself. Like, it's just two lenses there. Make sure they're... Um, wait, which are they? They're most likely to be converging, not diverging. And, uh, yeah, try this out. Watch it with the video. I'll upload that as an unlisted video. Seeing this in three three dimensions, pretty much, is um, very cool. Uh, wow. I'm happy right now, as you can see. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, I'll see you very soon in some probably more consoles. VR. Goodbye.